Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ordering numbers. This is standard 6.2D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 30 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we are ordering numbers here, and we simply need to find the list that goes from least to greatest, smallest to biggest. Now, these numbers are all jumbled up, but at least they are the same. We've got negative 2 fifths, negative 2 and 47 hundredths, negative 2 and a half, 5 and 21 fourths. But we've got fractions and we've got decimals, so let's move them all into decimals. That's going to make it a lot easier for us, especially because we've got our negative uh, 2 and 47 hundredths and 5 they are already decimals. So really we just have three fractions that we need to change into decimals before we can start ordering these. So negative 2 fifths. Well let's just uh, let's forget about the negative for just a moment. We'll kind of put that in a box and put that somewhere else. Let's look at 2 fifths. Two different ways we can make 2 fifths work for us. One, you can always divide up. Right? So you can always just say uh, 5 goes into 2, 0 times, and you could just do your long division. You're going to get your decimal, and that's what's going to make it a decimal. And you go 5 goes into 20, 4 times, and then boom, you're done. And it's not 0 0.4, remember it's negative 0 0.4, we've got to bring that negative back. Another way to do that would be, you know what, I can change my 5 into a 10. And if you can change your uh, 5 into a 10 with an equivalent fraction, then you could just make tenths. So 5 times 2 makes 10, so that's going to be 2 over 2. You can always multiply by something equal to 1, like 2 over 2, and look what you get, 4 tenths. So 4 tenths, 4 tenths. So anyway, you cut it, we've got three numbers so far. We've got negative 2.47. We've got... 5, and I'm going to go ahead and make that 5.00, just to make it all work. Now I've got my negative 0 0.4, and let's go ahead and add a 0 there to make it 0 0.40. Alright, so we've got two more that we need to look at. So we've taken care of this one. Let's take care of negative 2 and a half. And actually this can be fairly simple, negative 2 and a half. You're going to just keep this whole number the same, so it's going to be negative two points and then just whatever the fraction one half is worth now you should know what one half is worth that is one of our benchmark fractions but if not you can you know divide up two goes into one zero times let's get our decimals here and it's going to be five so two is zero point five or you could do the same thing. You can change it into tenths. That makes it easier. If you can change your denominator in tenths, hundreds, or thousandths, you're good. So that's going to be 5 over 5. And then 5 tenths. So 5 tenths. 5 tenths. But remember, we have a negative 2 in front of it. So negative 2.5 is what that's worth. So let's call that negative 2.50. Because we've got to put this here. And then lastly, we've got our 21 fourths that we've got to deal with. And so we're just going to do long division on that one. But we got a remainder of 1, so let's bring our 0 down. I'm kind of running out of room, but we'll make it work. 4 goes into 10 twice. So that's going to be 8. And we're going to bring down another 0. And that's going to be 5. So I'm kind of squished over there, but we'll make it look like 5.25. And that's a positive. So what we want to do is we want to start putting these in order from greatest to least. Our smallest number is going to be negative. We've got three negative numbers. Which one is farthest away from zero? And it's going to be this one. It's going to be this negative 2.5, which, remember, was this negative 2.5. So that's going to be first. So let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this one, because these two have it next. Next is going to be negative 2.47. That's really close, but it's a little bit closer to zero than negative 2.5 is. So both of these still work. Then our next one is going to be 0 0.40. And that is going to be our negative 2 fifths, so both of those work. And so next we just got to put our 5 and then our 5.25. 5, 5.25. 5 H is our answer.